Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Legacy of a Dragon. Now we're going to continue on with the prologue of our dwarf, Dulan Aidukin. Look at us, man. Look at it. It is awesome. It's one of the things I love about Dragon Age. You know, even Dragon Age 2, even though there was a lot of sameness to it, in terms of its locales, it was still beautiful to look at. And that's what I'm looking forward to in Dragon Age 3, when that one finally comes up. Uh, you're less noble, I don't care about you. Trust follow, big brother. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my sibling second, I will ask for it. Yes, Your Highness. Yes, uh, these are all obviously brothers. I want his hammer. I don't care about this guy. Balin! Hello! We are wearing matching armor. Uh, I go where I want, where I want, Trian. Your lack of a sense of duty to your house is obvious. Yeah. I can't imagine why you are receiving a commission. I expect after tomorrow I'll spend much time apologizing to the heads of the noble houses for the deaths of their children under your incompetent command. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, Trian? As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you, get to the feast. Oh, he's such an, such an idiot. It's cute how you think you can order me around. I'd advise you to watch that tongue, dear sibling. Father will not live forever. Come, Balin. That was fun. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. Yeah, he's a twat. To put it nicely. That it is. Let's get back to enjoying it, shall we? Apologize if I sound a little bit on edge. I kind of want to sneeze. I'm probably going to. So give me a moment. It rivals even the work of the pair of yourself. Ah! Apologies. See how the edges are rough and pitted. Would you compare this to Bronca's work? I hate being under the weather. But anyway, let's continue. Be quiet now and pray the end. The proving grounds will not wait forever. So I'm going to do one thing before we go to the Proving Grounds, however. Uh, no subtitles for this bit. Mainly because I kind of need to remember to take screenshots later on for actual uh, splash screens. I'm going to shop this back up a little bit shut this right back up I don't know how it's been on five because I haven't had the sound on but now I've got my headphones on so I can hear a little bit better my lord are you heading to the proving arena yes I am and you should check a medic your face is hideous we have been charged with the task of escorting you to the proving grounds I clean forgot about that Forgive me, I should have informed you sooner. The king decided you were not to travel through the commons unguarded. Very well, if it will please my father. Will we be leaving then? Yes, that's We good. are at your command. Look at all those dwarfs. Look at them. Look at all those dwarfs over there. All those cardboard cut out dwarfs. New. Your Highness, it is an honor to have you here. Have you come to watch these brave warriors do battle in your honor? And it's still bugging me what who this guy is. 
I will have to look this up on IMDb later on. Your Highness, this proving is in your honor. Then honor him by doing as he says. My Lord Idukin will fight in this proving. Also, Gollum's voice, it's also familiar, and it bugs me in this one point. And what the hell is wrong with his face? Wow! It's like, me, stretchy face. Of course, it is well within your rights. Men and women of Orzammar, we have a late entry to these provings, held on the eve of battle for the honor of House Idukan. I give you the Lord Idukan himself. Are you ready for your first match? Of course. And let us begin! This is a glory proving, fought under the watchful eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar, for the honor of House Idukan. Lord Idukan will fight Aler Bimo, youngest son of Lord Bimo. You honor me with this match. <laughs> I never actually saw that third option. I'll honor you upside the head. <laughs> but the honor is mine because that fits with Dulan's ways. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Wait, on pause. Right, he's swinging with a hammer. I'm also swinging with hammer, but my hammer is bigger than yours. Actually, they're both the same, but I don't care. Mine's bigger. I'm a lord. Come on. Smack. So while he's doing that, quickly equip that. There we go. That's a good bit of experience boost as well. The winner is Lord Idukan. Right, I'm trying to cut out most of the loading screens, by the way, but some may slip through. Let's see who we got next. That was quite a fight. Alair Bimo is no slouch with that hammer. Are you ready for your next opponent? Ooh, the sound just went crazy. I don't know if that went crazy on this actual video, but... Adal Helmi, a woman, your highness. She's a tenacious fighter. If the sound is... Um, apologies now if the sound has gone funky. But it might just be my headphones. One second. Uh, you will probably hear the sound coming back through the microphone, so I do apologize. Excellent. Let us go. It's just the headphones. This is a glory proving. Fought under the watchful eyes of the paragons of Orzum. Yes, 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 yes. Lord Idukan will fight a doll Helmi, eldest daughter of Lady Helmi. Honor and glory to your house, your highness. But to you, yours. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The dude definitely likes to like sort of be a mortal combat person, and he's like, fight! Seems he's worth now. Ah, there we go. Smack you in the face. Quickly swap to weapon, smack it with that, swap back. Of course. There we go. The winner is Lord Idukan. Again, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. <laughs> that was a crowd pleaser. Many were waiting to see that woman put in her place. Sir Blackstone is your next opponent. 
Are you ready to face him? What can you tell me about Sir Blackstone? One of the best of the warrior cast. He achieved glory in close combat assault in the Deep Roads. Ah, oh, this will be fun. Then let us begin! This is a glory proof. Lord Idukan will fight Sir Blackstone, Deep Road Squad Leader of the Warrior Cast. This is your education, child. Try to learn as you bleed. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Yeah, I have to keep skipping the uh, little intro bit because we've seen it all before all right. already. Come out! No quarter! There we go, that's a bit better. See the blood. I've seen yeah. a carnage I've yet to see. The winner is Lord Idukan. I hope you enjoy this song, folks. I'm sort of enjoying playing Dragon Age all over again. Good show in there. Thank you. Well done. You have proven that even the best of the warrior cast cannot match a noble Idukan. Frandland Ivo is your final opponent. He too has had many victories today. Are you ready to face him, or will you rest first? I'm ready to fight Frandlin Ivo, but tell me about him first. He is a decorated fighter who prefers unusual weapons and rarely fights with the same techniques twice. House Ivo is relatively inconsequential, but Frandlin may change that. He's expected to take a full command of his own soon. Oh, we shall fight him. Very good. This... It is down to just two warriors. With backbones of stone and wheels of iron, they have defeated all others this day. Lord Idukan will fight Frandlin Ivo, second son of Lord Ivo. You fight well. I wish you glory today and glory tomorrow. May you be a stone. First warrior to fall is vanquished. The victor is champion. Fight! <laughs> right, this will be fun. So we start off with a mighty blow. We're all so eager to die. Aren't we? And we swap. Give him the shield smack. Oh. Stone curse, Duster. Shield bash. There we go. And smack him with some back and weed. I'm going to destroy you. Ha! Glory will be mine. That ah, looks. Taste steel. Wait. How are we doing? What was we doing? I know. So sorry, like. I said, still a little bit too. So. If I'm not as talkative. It's exciting and raw. Ah, oh, we beat him. Huzzah! I want his weapon. I like his weapon. Give it. Give it. The winner is Lord Idukan. Of course it is. It's me. Now this is sort of where Duran's character comes into, into play, really. Congratulations. Friend and Ivo is as fierce a competitor as I've ever seen. You vanquished every warrior of note in today's proving. The ceremonial helm, commissioned by your father for today's winner, is yours. Now, normally you'd go, I'll wear it proudly. You know, you, you'd take it for yourself. But, for Duran, he sort of wants to make true friends. You know, there's no such thing as a, a friend in politics, especially dwarven politics. You know, each noble house is that after each other. So Duran is thinking, hmm, Franklin Ivo was a skilled warrior and it would be good to have someone in a different house who's taking up a uh, command very soon to go into the deep roads 
to have him as sort of on good terms. So that's going to go. The helm is going to go to Franklin Ivo. The people will remember your honor and generosity for all time. And that's it. So I enjoy that. You get like one and a half bars of experience. It's a lot of fun. I'm actually going to call it here for this one. So we get a bit of combat in. So until next time, folks, I'm going to save it here. Save. Till next time, I have been Shadowbane. I hope you've enjoyed this. Trust me, it will get better. So I'll start feeling a lot, a lot better very soon, and a lot more creative. And yes, I'll be talking about a lot about game history because I have played through this way too many times. Once we actually get to the, you know, Act One, some stuff. So until next time, folks. Take care, and bye for now.